WFNN Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Uh, take a look at the E-mini here. We're going to go on the daily and so the yearly and just see where we got out. Of course, this bar less volume, but we did close below uh, the lows here. Wow, look at that. Pretty big volume. That last bar, the last 15-minute bar was a uh, pretty big volume to the downside there. Um, so we'll see what happens overnight. Again, you had this kind of buildup. You know, after hours, after, you know, you had the deputy governor of the Bank of Japan saying, hey, everything's going to be all right. And the market said, whatever, we're going to go right back down there. Uh, of course, this low uh, that we're looking at is the 5,221. Now, uh, Tom O'Brien did call in uh, during the last show, I believe in the last uh, normal length segment. Check that out. He speaks a little bit about that as well. Uh, you have the Russell finishing off about 1.27%, composite itself off about one Point zero five percent. The Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.6. I'm just looking at the daily now, so it's kind of distorted a little bit. Gold contract sideways at 2,426. Still staying actually pretty strong, right? You had kind of like a downward movement uh, with everything, but not too bad at all. Of course, this is again still on the daily. Steel Dynamics off about 2.66%, and then Tesla getting smoked down there about four. Point six percent, of course, a lot of stuff in the news. And then Disney, finally, how much more can this poor stock take? It is not clear. And then Google did the no-no thing and became a monopoly. It was just uh, ruled by a judge. Let's take a look here. After carefully considering and weighing the witness testimony and evidence, the court reaches the following conclusion. This is a federal judge. Happened on Monday that Google is a monopolist. Uh-oh. It has acted as one to maintain its monopoly. It had violated Section 2 of the Sherman Act, which is saying people conspire, uh, essentially, to form monopolies. You know, they can get charged anywhere up to $100 million under that act, which is pretty crazy. Let me see here. 15 U.S. Code Statute 2. Yeah, shall be punished by a fine not exceeding $100 million if a corporation, and if a person does it, $1 million, or imprisonment not exceeding 10 years. So, if you're going to transgress U.S. laws, make sure you're a corporation because you will not go to prison. Anyways, very weird. Uh, I don't know how this kind of goes forward. And honestly, other search engines are just not as good. Um, anyways, do your own reading on that, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. We have Tommy O'Brien on tomorrow at 9 a.m. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. Take care.